In this lecture, we want to talk about the inversions of a linkage. As an example, we study the inversions of a slider crank mechanism. Let's take a look at the links in a typical slider crank linkage. Link number one is fixed to the ground, link two is pinned to it and uh, rotates as a crank, link three is the coupler and connects the crank to the slider, and finally, the slider moves along a fixed path on the ground. We consider this as the first inversion of a slider crank mechanism, where link number one is fixed and all other links are moving relative to it, as you see in this working setup. Notice that link number one is pinned to the crank from one side, and from the other side it includes a slot, along which the slider is moving. This inversion is the most usual one and has been widely used in automobile engines. Here is a more realistic setup which shows the fixed cylinder, the piston and the crank with a flywheel. In this application, the slider is the input link which drives the system by the gas pressure. And the crank is the output link which rotates the crankshaft to generate the power for the car. Now imagine instead of link 1, this time link 2 is fixed. Then we will have a new inversion which is a different mechanism. This second inversion was used in the early radial aircraft engines. As you see in this simplified diagram, the crank is fixed and link number one, which includes the crankcase and the cylinder, is rotating and driving the aircraft propeller. Another application of this inversion is the Whitworth linkage, which is considered among the category of quick return mechanisms. We will discuss about it in the upcoming lectures. The third inversion is when the coupler link is fixed. Notice the prismatic joint between links 1 and 4. Link 4 is a slider moving along a slot belonging to link 1. Instead, we could have link 1 as a slider moving along a slot belonging to link 4, as you see in this animating diagram. This mechanism is used in the toy oscillating cylinder steam engines. The last inversion is when link number 4 is held fixed. In this configuration, link 1 has a slot and the fixed slider is constrained to be always inside it. Instead, we could have link 1 as a slider moving along the slot of link 4, as you see in this simulation. This inversion is commonly used in hand pumps. So we could derive four inversions from a slider crank mechanism by each time fixing a different link.